Hi Shana, hi Rao, welcome hi. to the show. Thank you. Okay, tell me how challenging has it been to work on a film like this, given the fact that it's a piece of literature and so well known and so well read. Well, I think, I mean, I, I had uh, read the book just before coming on the film, so uh, somewhere the fact that uh, you know the the author himself has written the screenplay. Yeah, it leaves no scope for ambiguity as to mm. you know what he wants to be shown cinematically, mm. and uh, you know the collaboration of I've always liked Deepa's work and have always wanted to work with her. So um, uh, I had full faith in in their faith in each other. Let's just put it there, and then therefore my faith in her as a director to carry off something that is so epic and will have so many eyeballs on it, and you know so many people questioning it uh, in so many ways. So after that, I think it was quite smooth sailing. I mean, there was a lot of excitement. I was the you know riding the wave of excitement all the way through, and uh, um, I don't think I, I didn't find anything very challenging. I think maybe it was because I was happy to be you know working with the people I was working with. Uh, you know, just uh, being in that environment. We started off with doing uh, these crazy workshops with the whole cast. Right, right. <laughs> you know about that, yeah. And uh, that was great because we all got to. Spend time because such a big star cast that too, right? Yeah. Because not everybody is shooting with, uh, you know, uh, with each other. Yeah. Uh, and yet we all got to know each other. So it was nice. I mean, I think it became a very cozy, comfortable uh, equation right from the start. And mm. I always say this that after that, for me, it was just going with the flow of things and, you know, letting the moment decide what is the best uh, direction in which, uh, you know, your impulses should take you for mm -hmm. it to work out yeah. uh, you know creatively well i mean you shouldn't um, be fooled by shahana's very sort of uh, simple blase answer <laughs> because because she's done a lot of work I mean, she's her, hers is a wonderful performance mm -hmm. and if she was just going with the flow and let's see what direction i'll take today it would have been a, it would have been a crap yeah. performance uh, so it it she's obviously worked very hard at understanding her character of mumtaz and really getting into uh, the whole uh, Amina Mumtaz, what is it now? Both. Both. Yeah. Um, she really holds the film together. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, an, it's a really wonderful performance and she's one of the best we have. So mm -hmm. I would therefore take all of that with a <laughs> large... <laughs> no, that's... I, when she says, no, I didn't find it very challenging. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, <laughs> I thought she would say, because I'm, I'm so good that it's hardly a challenge. But... but <laughs> yeah, that's what she <laughs> meant, <yeah>. probably. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> yeah, she was trying to be simple, but it turned out to be it was sounding to be Did phenomenally. You know Rahul Bose has become my PR agent now. That this, is, this is this is what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. um, I've lived with this film for about with this yeah. with the idea of this book being made into a movie. For with about, the initial part of the cast, right, right in the beginning when the idea was. Uh, it was a different. It was an idea of a five-part miniseries okay. that was about seventeen or sixteen years ago. Okay. So when I was cast for that, obviously one reads the book again. I had read the book purely as a reader. Right read the book again, got into it, kept thinking of the cinematics of it. So I'd been through that whole journey once already in yeah, my life. Yeah. So when this happened, I was like, yeah, okay, fine. I know the book. I know what you're <laughs> going to be filming. I know, I, you know, I know how Salim is going to be played. But I had no clue about Zulfi. I think the only significant thing that I can contribute to this question is the fact that I've never played anything but the lead in my life. Yeah. So here I was playing a guy who has 11 minutes of screen time. Yeah. So I had to trust the director, obviously. Yeah. And so... I submitted myself to what I wanted to do and said if she says no, don't do this, jada hai, come hai, whatever it is, she'll make me do mm -hmm. that. I think I'm possibly the luckiest actor in this film out of all the small roles. I actually come in eight or nine times for about a minute. But the fact is when you see the film, mm -hmm. you know that his presence is so strong and it's not an easy character because it's kind of caricaturish but it's also, it's also believable and there is an emotional journey you see through that character and every if you go online and you check the reviews mm -hmm. they have all spoken about his performance mm -hmm. and uh, that just goes to show that you know he he has put in all that uh, you know careful work to make sure that yeah unlike Mujhe Shana, zarur log dekhe. <laughs> in that respect i think um, uh, yeah you know you you, you Fans, <laughs> when you watch yourself doing bad stuff on screen. Have yeah. you been in a situation ever in the past when you've seen yourself on screen and said, oh my God, what have I done? Yes. Yeah. But I can remember them all. Okay. <laughs> it's like a batsman who remembers every time he gets out. 
So yeah, like the graveyard scene in Bombay Boys, mm -hmm. which was 16 years ago. <laughs> I still wake up sweating. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. Or uh, practically everything I did in Mangay Mughalism. You know. So I think in that respect, my life is little bit regretted. <laughs> what can I say? But I mean, uh, how involved was Rashdi in the entire filmmaking process? Did you all meet him? Did you all, you know? Well, we did. He couldn't come uh, on set. He was busy as well, and mm -hmm. you know. Uh, he planned to, but it didn't happen finally. And uh, uh, but I, I mean, I had only met him actually just before the film once. Okay. Because um, that was the time that the, that he was there with Deepa for casting, and so I'd met him at that, uh, you know, on that occasion. And it was a brief meeting, but I had a really lovely time with them and a lovely conversation mm -hmm. and a chat, which was very casual and about many other things besides the book and the film. So. Uh, yeah, and after that, it was only actually I got to spend more time with him, get to know him through the process when the film released in Toronto. We were there mm -hmm. together for, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the Toronto Film Festival and we had a really, really lovely time. Really, he's loved your work? Uh, he, he's given you an autograph book or something like that? Yeah, but, yeah. but he was, it was very sweet of him to, to write in the, you know, he was giving me one of uh, the books and uh, Midnight Sin and he wrote thanks for uh, Amina for the part. He told me last evening, he said, I'm closing the circle wow. now <laughs> in Bombay. Shahana, you have been doing a lot of character roles in, in our cinema. Uh, do, don't you feel like confined? Because since the time you've come, you've played these very intense characters. I Actually, don't you want to break away from that? All the time. This very serious, intelligent I have woman. I decided no, my no, New Year resolution is to, to do a comedy no role. To all films that <laughs> no, no, make and, me and serious. She's, and she's also always played women. Have you noticed? No, it's true. You I, 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 yeah. I have been um, feeling that of late. And I think. Midnight's Children was the first film that made me feel the need to break out of that mold. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you know, I mean, this is not a play, you know, I, I, I've gone through phases of blaming the outside world really? and then blaming myself. And then you realize it's a combination of things, yeah. you know, you, you also put yourself in a, into a compartment, uh, allow yourself to but be what put into a compartment. Seriously, what compartment are you in? The compartment it's a is... It's no-compartment compartment, they can put you anywhere. No, but they don't, that's the point. Yeah. I'm saying it, what happens is that people's tendency is to to come to me only when there is a serious hard hitting part yeah. you know that's what the strong woman kind of role correct no comedy no comedy no never but you're phenomenal at comedy that's what i that's what i keep saying mm -hmm. i have so many different sides which nobody knows and yeah. nobody kind yeah, of yeah, right. I, bothers it, bringing like out like in heroine you were like really I would think one of the best things in your own and you know like but this very tip i mean you've it's done that in the past i've done that like thrown it yourself in that kind of role it i was also straight jacketed into serious stuff but you've done your mix no wait wait then at one point at the inflection point was Jhankar Beats. Yeah. When suddenly yeah. a director Correct. who knew cool me. Kind of, yeah. who but that's knew what me, I'm saying. Somebody and then that gave me Correct. three yeah. comedies. Yeah. Cut, yeah. cut, 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 cut. Pyar ke side effects. Correct. You know, yeah. and then suddenly we were like, oh god, this guy is really good yeah. at comedy. And then it went back to something else. Correct. You need to have a director who, who knows has, you off screen. Correct. Who can Correct. really knows it. Yeah. So I'm yeah. also I'm waiting for that situation where somebody takes that chance and that chance is always taken by somebody who knows you well. The moral of story outside of it. Whenever you see a director, just crack a joke. Yeah. <laughs> but Rahul, you've oh. done a movie like PRK Side Effects, it's really worked. How come you don't do more such cinema? Well, because I don't have a box office and so Farhan and Vidya are doing the sequel. <laughs> That's why it's quite easy, you know. No, but really, are you very choosy, both of you? I mean, you're like, you could definitely do more movies. Uh, I think it's a combination. 50% mm -hmm. or 60% of it is stuff that comes to me is just not stuff that I want to do. Yeah, yeah. And 40% of it is that some of the stuff I'd like to do doesn't come to me. Yeah. Which is fine. You know, yeah. I mean, you've got, you've done, this is my 20th year in the industry. Oh. So, you know, you say, okay, fine. So, it's time for somebody, the next 35-year-old to do uh, a PRK side effects or whatever it might hmm. be. That's absolutely fine. So, the idea is what next? Yeah. So, at this point, with Midnight Student and Vishwarupam, both releasing on the same day. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. radically different yeah, roles. Yeah. I mean, my sister couldn't recognize me. Even I didn't know. From a still from Vishwarupam. Yeah, she just didn't recognize me. She had no clue who this was. So I think that now it's a very interesting inflection point to look to see yeah. to see yeah, what yeah. choices you want to make next. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because a lot of different kind of if you, if you go by you know what we see last year, a very good mix of movies that we've seen. Yeah. So it's not very those typical masala movies that are being made You know, I think what maybe Rahul and I both we fall between two stools. Neither are we newcomers, and neither are we box office successes. So then you fall between because it's a business at the end of the day, and we but have is to it understand. But isn't easier character actors nowadays? So much more scope to do more stuff. Yeah. And but we've done enough of that, you know. Once I mean, you, I you think have to first understand the whole naksha. What's yeah. happening is that mm. a barfi mm. would have been offered to Rahul and Shahana mm. ten years ago. Mm. 
Hmm. It isn't because number one, you have talented mainstream actors yeah. who want to do Barfi. Right. Correct. Right. Earlier nobody, Earlier wanted, nobody to. wanted to do these yeah. roles. Right. So if you're going to get Ranbir and Priyanka, why the hell would you not? And yeah. and so it turns out to be a wonderful film with a very skilled director. Right. So all the Barfis that are going that are supposed to come your way, they will not. Right. Mm. As far as the mainstream big films, which have big budget films, you're not going to get them because you don't justify those. Right. I mean, Shana, for example, is a great dancer, but she might not get the roles that the big, big, big yeah. dancing heroines today yeah. get. Yeah. So those are out of the way. Yeah. Then you come to the uh, what is it that you could do, and you come to the smaller, gritty, small budget films, mm. which you can make for two or three crores. Earlier, they would come to us. Yeah. But now the publicity budget for those films is also two to three crores. Mm -hmm. So the film becomes a six to seven crore film. Suddenly you're saying, I, I, I have to look for somebody slightly more saleable. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? Or commercially, yeah, yeah, commercially viable. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Or, or let yeah. me go for a new or, film. Or a bigger Absolutely. director yeah, or a yeah. younger, whatever it might be. Do you think it's like a very star driven industry? Of course or, it is. Yeah. It's money driven. And also the way this industry works, it's very important to have PR machinery which is strong. Yeah. To be seen at the right places, hobnob with the right people, I don't think, I mean, you know. You know, I would sooner have my tooth pulled out than go to, you know, X awards function or Y. Yeah. When I'm yeah. not even getting an award, just go there, hang around. And I notice it's nowadays, like, yeah. <laughs> the actors and actresses totally out of work are dressing so fantastically. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I haven't seen this person in 10 years. <laughs> that includes people like me also. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> No, event after event, they're like stunning Kavali and whatever, Benity and Calvin something. Like, wow, man, these are fantastic people. But they have no work. So I presume they're trying this, what you're trying to say. Yeah. Like, let's go everywhere and let's dazzle everyone. But it might just be that they become this ornament. But what about turning producer, Rahul? A lot of these, you know, young, you know, like young actors are also turning producers nowadays. Have you ever thought of that? I would definitely like to direct again. Yeah. Uh, if not produce. So I'm, after everybody says I'm fine, I'm going to direct. Hopefully, not smoke <laughs> after six years of trying. You know, both of you have done very different kind of roles, parallel cinema, commercial cinema, all of that. So, wh which space do you find yourself most comfortable? It just has to be something new, even if it's not great. Yeah. Even if it's not the best. Yeah. Uh, it's, it has to be something new so that my I'm excited. It tends to get more and more difficult for you to be enthused and excited by doing the same stuff. Right. And sooner or later, that fatigue and the lie shows in your eyes when you're mm. on screen. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. Thank you so much for being on our show. It was great talking to you too.